The grieving parents of Charlie Gard were said to be distraught last night at the speed with which his life finally ended. Connie Yates and Chris Gard desperately hoped for a few more days to say goodbye to their son, before switching his life support machine, the mail on Sunday understands. But a friend of the family last night said felt unable to say a proper goodbye, because the hospice Charlie was transferred to had been unable to supply the equipment and team of medics Great Ormond Street Hospital Gosh insisted was necessary to prolong his life. Charlie died just a week short his first birthday from a rare condition, which had gradually robbed him the ability to see, hear, breathe or move. But it's believed that Connie and Chris considered Gosh's stringent requirements to prolong Charlie's life have been unnecessarily demanding. Their final wish for Charlie was that he should be allowed back to their home in Bedfont, West London, for his final hours. But this was denied, and experts said there was simply no way Charlie could spend time outside intensive care, despite nurses offering to work 12 hour shifts on their days off to make it possible. Doctors at Great Ormond Street had long argued that Charlie had suffered irreversible brain damage, as a result seizures linked to his condition, mitochondrial deletion syndrome, which causes progressive muscle weakness and brain damage, and has only been diagnosed in 16 children across the world. The hospital's position prompted a lengthy court case, an inspired worldwide campaign, to save Charlie and death threats against medical staff. But it ended after MRI scan this month made very sad reading, and experts agreed there was no way to help the little boy.